everyone, it's Beth and Sweethearts. Welcome back to part three of Fine Thin Hair Braiding Techniques. Um, so today we're going to be using a volumizing hot tool, so no extensions today. Um, I'm going to be showing you one from Lala's Updo's. I'll put the link in the description, but there is other people that sell these types of tools as well. Uh, you'll see why I want to use it, because it gives three times the volume to my thin hair and we're going to be going for two braids today, so um, hope you like this video. Don't forget to check out my playlist of the fine thin hair. There's lots of ideas on there, so let's get started. So again, guys, I'm choosing to just leave out these kind of top sections here. I don't love when they're scraped back. I'm not particularly in love with that part there, so that's where I'm sort of like quite fine. So I just leave out these little bits at the front. You can kind of decide how much you want to leave out. I'm just going to go a little bit here as well. Can you see the difference? Now, I'm going to go for two braids. So the way I do this is I'm going to kind of zigzag the part line slightly. It just gives a more sort of soft look to the style. But if you want to go literally straight down the middle, you can. So I'm literally just going to get my comb and it's nothing like perfect about this. I'm just going to go kind of left, right, left, right. So just a little left, right, left, right, all the way down to the nape of the neck. So that's just what I've done. So I've just kind of gone left and right, and then I'm gonna put one side in a hair tie. Okay guys, so we're gonna be working on this side. Now, this is the volumizing tool that I'm using. This one's called a prep tool. It's by Lala's Updo's. I will put a link in the description. And um, there's other brands that do it. I know Sam Via used to do one. We used to do one, but we don't sell it anymore. Um, who else? I think Hot Tools does one. And um, basically it's like a crimper, but with a, a smaller, smoother sort of little ridges. And what it does is give three times the volume to the hair. So I'll literally just take a section of hair and I'm gonna be really concentrating on the root, okay? And then getting less press. So press down, press down, press down, press down, and then just start going a little bit softer because as my hair gets a bit drier, I don't want it to look all kind of straw-like. And I'll just basically go through the whole hair. It only takes about, because I haven't got a lot of hair, it takes about five minutes. 10 minutes tops and this stays in guys until you wash your hair so it's just going to give me way more volume when I'm doing these two braids so just working my way through guys so my question this week to you lot out there is would you like to see me do kind of more casual easy work school styles or would you like to see me do some occasion styles for fine hair if you can just pop a comment below, just so I can get an idea of the type of content that you're all after, that would be really, really helpful. So I've done that side and you can see already the difference that that has made. I'll do exactly the same on this side and then we'll start braiding. So that's the other side done guys. So we are ready to braid. I'm gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo um, at the roots. I'm actually using the um, Styler Pro one again which isn't like a dry shampoo, it's like a volume puff powder. You've seen me use it. Um, just in the roots again. And a little bit of the Sexy Hair um, Spray Clay. I wanna give myself loads of grip because I wanna pull my braids. You can see the volume that I'm getting in the hair. It's gonna be fabulous to braid. So we are taking our first section of hair, like so. I'm going to be doing a Dutch braid, so I'm going to be taking the sections underneath the middle. So breaking it into three. I always find it a little bit easier to braid two braids than one because there's like less hair to work with. So middle strands, I'm going to take this one here underneath the middle. That's my new middle one now. This one here underneath the middle. And I'm going to go again. This one here underneath the middle. And now I'm just going to sweep in some hair. This one underneath the middle. I'm going to join some hair into that one. Underneath the middle. 
I am going to turn around in a minute guys and you can see so that volumizing tool has just really helped me because I've got so little hair in this space here it always looks really gappy but once I've used that volumizer it kind of just like plumps it out and it stops it sort of being too like too much scalp on show really because I'm not going to go for a tight tight braid I am going to kind of pull these out so when I'm taking my sections guys because I haven't got a lot of hair to play with I can't just take a massive section like that I'm not going to have time for the braid to catch up it's going to end up the braid finishing here so I'm just making sure that I'm taking a sort of small bit going a little bit wider as I'm going up and just really taking my time so I'm just going to stop there guys and I'm just going to start pulling out the front a little bit and pulling out these sections like so and carry on braiding As I take that one underneath, I then add some hair in, take hold of this top one here, that's my new middle, that's the left one, left one comes underneath that middle, add in some hair, now it's this right one, it's going to come under the middle, add in some hair. last piece before I plait all the way down guys I'm just going to feel with my fingers and I'm just going to start just teasing out this braid I can do a little bit more at the end but I'm just going to make a start otherwise what can happen is as you tease if you sort of braid all the way down as you tease out it can start kind of like messing up the underneath bit I'm just coming around to the front now so I can see a little bit better and then I will just kind of get a mirror guys and just make sure all the sections that I've pulled out are even and I'll probably pull them out bigger as well like for people that haven't got fine hair this isn't that big a braid but for me knowing how much hair I've got I'm gonna pull it bigger as well this looks like a much chunkier braid than I'd normally get Obviously, no hair extensions have been used. I'm probably going to pin these up, I'll decide afterwards. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side, guys, and then I think I might pin them. So bear with me to see what it looks like at the end. So I'm so glad that I used that tool because I can just feel the difference when they're pulling this hair. Like normally you pull like fine hair to try and get a bigger braid and you just get loads of gaps in the loops. It's so hard to do. Um, but this just kind of like plumps out. I don't know if you can see, just like plumps out the hair. So I'm going to leave it there and then we're going to have a little look. I think I might pin these up. Okay, both braids are in. Super cute. You can leave them like this. I'm 40. I think I can probably rock it, but who knows? I'm going to pin them up, okay? I feel a little bit like Heidi. So I'm going to do two buns today, but you could do one at the back. I'm going to just kind of like grab them. Nothing more technical than that. Wedge my fingers in there and just pin. So I'm just getting um, two inch hair pins and just pushing them through. Not really worried about if it's kind of perfect. It's not that kind of style. I want it to be kind of messy. And you can always like kind of tease these little buns out as well. 
Okay guys, so the style is in, I'm loving it. I'm glad I kind of did two buns and I've also kind of made sure that you can see a little bit from the sides. I think that looks really cute. Uh, I'm gonna just give you another quick look at the back. So I just don't think that you'd look at these braids and think that this person's got fine, thin hair. I think that volumizing tool has done its job. I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna spin back around, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like this style? Do you think it looks cute? Would you prefer to do it just one bun at the back? Um, I'll put the link in to the hot tool for you so you can check that out. And I'll see you next week for the video. Bye.